now take the first problem from exercise 5.1 prove that the question is prove that the function f of x is equal to 5x minus 1 is continuous at x is equal to 0, x is equal to minus 3 and x is equal to 5. <clears throat> the problem is very simple because f of x is a polynomial function. It's a binomial function of degree 1. So, we saw any polynomial function is continuous. So, x is a continuous function. So, 5 into any constant into a polynomial, c into f is also continuous. If you add any constant to it, it is also going to be a continuous function. But let's prove this formally. First, check what about the, uh, is the function defined for the given values of x? So, if you take uh, x to be any into any real value, let's discuss the solution of this. Let c be any real number. Then what about f of c is equal to 5 into c plus 1, which is always finite. It is never infinity. This takes infinity only when c is equal to infinity but infinity is not a real number. It is just a symbol. So real number means any value between minus infinity and plus infinity. So f of c is always positive. So this claims f of x is the sir yeah so long uh, f of x is equal to 5x minus 3 sir minus 3 yeah. okay but no ah. thank you ah. so f of x is equal to minus 3 so f of x is defined for all real numbers. So, whatever be the value you substitute, whatever real number you substitute for c, f of x is defined. So, next, so first condition is satisfied. Whenever we want to check the continuity, we have to check three conditions. f of x is defined at a. Next condition, the limit exists at a limit extends to a f of x exists and the third condition is the equality limit extends to a f of x should be equal to f of a if all these three conditions are satisfied then we say function is continuous at a and if a function is continuous at all the a or all the real numbers then we simply say function is continuous now we have checked the first condition that is the function is defined for all real values of x. Now let's find the limit. So first let's get the left hand limit. So limit x tends to c minus f of x that is equal to limit x tends to sorry limit h tends to 0. This is the algorithm to find the left hand limit. f of 
C minus H. That is a point towards the left. That is equal to limit H tends to zero. Our f of x is 5x minus 3. So f of c minus h is going to be 5 into c minus h minus 3. So if you allow h tends to 0, that is just to give h is equal to 0, we get 5c minus 3. Now get the right hand limit. limit x tends to c plus f of x that is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of c plus h that is equal to limit h tends to 0 so f of x is 5x minus 3 so replace x is equal to c plus h so 5 into c plus h minus 3. Now allow h tends to 0. So that is equal to 5 into c plus 0 minus 3. It is 5c minus 3. So here we see the left hand limit is 5c minus 3. The right hand limit is also 5c minus 3. So we have limit x tends to c minus f of x is equal to limit x tends to c plus f of x. So we say limit x tends to c that is also equal to limit x tends to c. Limit x tends to c f of x. So this claims limit x tends to c f of x exists and the value is equal to 5c minus 3. So we are nearer to the conclusion. We know the function is defined at the point c and it is equal to 5c minus 3. The limit at the point c also exists which is also equal to 5c minus 3. So we say for all c belongs to real numbers. For any real value of c, limit x tends to c f of x exists and is equal to f of c. So f of x is continuous in R. That is for real, all real values of R, f of x is continuous. So f of x is equal to 5x minus 3 is continuous at the particular values for real number. It is continuous for all real numbers. So it is also continuous for x equal to 0, x is equal to minus 3 and x is equal to 5. This is the general way of proving. You can also prove for each case of x. I hope we can...